Hello, Planeswalkers. And one of the best resources for building an Oathbreaker deck has vanished. New cards were spoiled yesterday, and the Oathbreaker Rules Committee has been making some exciting announcements in the last few days. I'm hoping to cover it all for you in this video. My name's Chad, and I'm going to be your host. If you like what I do here, please remember to support the channel. And let's get right into it. First up, for a very long time, we've had a tool that maybe has been underutilized or hasn't worked correctly. EDH Rec had their own Oathbreaker website that would pull Oathbreaker deck data from the API of other sites, just like they do for Commander and for EDH. However, because I don't think enough of the decks people were making were getting posted in the right places, they weren't really pulling anything. And pretty quickly after the beginning of the Oathbreaker EDH rec site went up, it was very obvious that it wasn't getting updated or updated frequently as new sets came out and new Planeswalkers came out and they didn't show up on the site with deck lists or even like zero deck lists, like stuff will appear on EDH rec. Last couple weekends, people have tried to log on to the site and it has completely vanished. The EDH Oathbreaker rec is now just gone. If that was something you wanted to use, it's gone. I have found over the last week or so, people have been sharing their list on Twitter like crazy. So if you're interested in an Oathbreaker deck, there are plenty of people with amazing resources and creativity you just can't possibly imagine. So it's not that we can't still find a way to get this information. We've just lost a tool that was making it easier. Moving on, yesterday in an article by Mark Rosewater, they, they spoiled some cards in the upcoming Infinity set. I'm actually very excited, like I always am, about the lands. They're, they're doing 10 basic land arts, five that are taking place on relative different planets or worlds within this space of circus uh, of Infinity and five that are extra planar views where we're looking at planets that are just entirely of one mana, which I think is a really interesting and beautiful concept. So that's really cool. There's also going to be full art Shocklands. In my final story, Weird Cards Charitable Organization and the Oathbreaker Rules Committee have been announcing over the past couple days that in 2022, they're going to be releasing starter decks for the format. This is amazing. It's an excellent way to get new players into Oathbreaker with a minimal amount of investment. I really am excited to see this product roll out. They've already released the uh, what the boxes will look like at this point and a list of which Planeswalkers they've chosen and the signature spells they've chosen to kind of put out along with names for those decks. I certainly suggest you check out the Weird Card Charitable Organization Twitter if you want more information. Certainly, it's a really cool idea to pick up all four of these decks. If you want to build yourself an Oathbreaker Battle Box that you can just take out to a game store to get people excited in playing the format. The current information we have is the full deck lists will be released as of 12-13 uh, for these four decks. And they will be available 12-20 uh, in the US for pre-order. There will be further dates in the future. I may try to keep you guys updated on this. This is not a wizard of the Coast product with taking cards that they've collected and collated through the charity. And they're making these decks and they're going to make as many of them as they can and then basically sell them to put more money back into the charity, which is a really cool idea. So there's an extra added bonus as to why you might want to be involved in this. Now, as with this story, as any other story I've talked about today, I'd love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments below. I hope you have a great rest of your day and your spark lights up my life.